there welcome back to my channel it's the hottest day in the world today I think it's been it's about 29 degrees I'm sure it's been hotter unfortunately but it's absolutely horrendous so today I want to talk about a few things that I've now got in my life which make things a little bit easier and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of cooking as well um, basically using up things before they go off so I have decided to make some pinwheels um, we've got this puff pastry in the fridge that goes off basically tomorrow uh, so I've got the puff pastry here and I'm just gonna put cheese and I think just cheese on half and then cheese and pepper on the other half so I'm also going to put some I think tomato sauce because I don't think we've got any um, puree um, on there as well so there you go good old Aldi tomato sauce and there you go right and now to put the cheese on And then to cut up the pepper. So here is the um, pepper. And then this is just cheese and tomato. I've never actually made this before, so I think I'm doing it correctly. We'll see, I guess. Okay, so now I'm thinking you do this. Pretty sure I probably should have put some flour on here. And then put them on here like this. <laughs> and then beat up an egg and okay and then do that this is all a big lag so hopefully it's all going to work out fine what can go wrong and then i'm planning to serve them for the kids dinner and probably mine because their husband's away at the moment and um, have them with like well they can have fish fingers and I'll have whatever I can find okay right I will look at a recipe book now and let you know what temperature and how long to put it on for right okay so I've put a grease proof paper on the tray because apparently that's what you should use and um, the oven should be at 180 and for 15 to 20 minutes okay good luck little guys and there you go they actually look really nice I'll uh, see what the children think but that bad boy has got my name on it and this was a girl who couldn't use a skipping rope a few weeks ago <laughs> what are you up to, Roro? Ooh, so we've got a nice afternoon tea in the sun. This is my exercise. And that's my sister. 
And that girl over there is is my sister. What's her name? Molly. Oh. Degrees and a low of sixteen degrees. So we're still in the hottest day ever. Um, it's probably going to go on for a good few more days yet. Uh, right, so I also wanted to speak about um, things that have made my life a little bit easier recently. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I went to the um, I went to the hospital and picked up some splints or orthotics I think they're called um, so they are for basically um, over the last year or so I've been developing drop foot and um, yeah my walk-ins just got worse so um, yeah so I meant to be wearing those and they help my feet sort of rise up a little bit um, basically just walk how we were always supposed to walk before becoming ill um, yeah so they do really really help except I have no clothes that I can wear them with well I've got one one cl item of clothing which is this a long skirt um, but I can't wear them with any of my jeans and I probably can't wear them driving, um, although I haven't tried yet. Um, yeah, so I know they do work, and luckily my feet are never going to change size. So, you know, I'll get to a stage where I've got the clothes that can fit on top of them. Um, but yeah, uh, let me show you them. So. So this is, can you see that? Um, they go on to my feet, they're sort of on like the my lower legs, and then they sort of strap on, and then I have to wear, that's another thing, the shoes that I've got don't fit very well on top of them. I've got a pair of trainers which I never wear because they're a little bit big, and they, they will fit. So yeah, so that's another kind of thing that's stopping me from wearing them too much. Uh, and this is the other one. I mean, it's amazing in this country that we can get all this sort of thing for free. Um, we're, we are really lucky. Um, yeah, so I will put a picture up of them on my legs because of the aforementioned um, hottest day in the world means that I'm just not going to wear them right now um, yeah so you can see in the picture um, that they strap onto my legs and I wear my uh, trainers over the top so yes what has been helping though is um, Pilates so I mean I, I'm not doing I'm not doing in-person classes right now but there's loads of classes online so I try and do that you know when my legs are feeling particularly sort of tense and it's just not fun um, so yes yeah, so I'm you so I'm doing that and um, yeah and that helps so the next item which has vastly improved my life has been my wheelie walker. It's helped me get around places much more easily and independently. And um, I've, it's not too bad to put up. And it fits in my car, which was the problem with the one I previously had.
So this is the third thing that's making my life a lot more easy. A Roomba. This item has made um, hoovering, which I had started to find quite painful because of the standing up. Um, it's now much easier and uh, yeah, it goes off every night at midnight and uh, we wake up to a nice clean floor. I hope you've enjoyed the video and seeing a few things that are making my life a little bit easy at the moment um, yeah so the next video it will probably be snowing now in the UK um, but yeah hopefully it'll be a, a little bit cooler all right I'll see you in the next one bye bye bye